Hey everybody, it's Quicken, and welcome back to another episode of Tattoo Talk Tuesday. If it is your first time joining us for Tattoo Talk Tuesday, today we are going to talk all about tattoo conventions. So Tattoo Talk Tuesday is my weekly interactive tattoo talk show where I open up kind of lines for user submitted questions back to me. As a tattoo collector, I like to lend myself to you guys and let you know what I know. So this week we are talking all about tattoo conventions. Last weekend I was at the Philadelphia Tattoo Convention, so I would love to answer some questions for you guys. I opened it up on Snapchat, I was like, hey, ask me all of your tattoo convention related questions, and let's get into it. Just to let you guys know, next week I will be doing a an episode all about vegan tattoos. Vegan tattoo ink, vegan tattoo... I don't know, myths, all the vegan tattoo questions that you have been asking me, I will be answering for you, for you, for you. And if you're into this makeup look, tomorrow I will have a video all about it. No, oh, please don't bite me. It's really hot in here. But every time I wear this shirt, I always get a comment that's like, your shirt made me dizzy. Why wouldn't I just wear a different shirt? So, what is the tattoo convention? Every year, Philadelphia has a big tattoo convention. Luckily, Philadelphia has spent millions of dollars on this convention center, and happy for me, I can go every year. So the tattoo convention, everybody comes together from across the country. Some booths are from across the world. Some booths aren't even tattoo artists. Some booths are just like necklaces and things like that that maybe like tattoo people might enjoy. And it's super cool. It is legal to be tattooed at the tattoo convention. All of the artists kind of go through a little bit of screening. Unfortunately, in Philadelphia, you have to have either your high school diploma or GED in order to tattoo at the tattoo convention. And you have to get, you know, some of your certifications, like bloodborne pathogen kind of thing certification, before you are allowed to tattoo in the convention. So you kind of know that if you're going there a little blindly, your tattoo artist will be licensed and at least book learned. So you know that. And this year to get into the tattoo convention, I think it was $44, it was $22 each to get in. I remember I paid with a stack of ones and the lady had something inappropriate to say about it, so that was weird for me. Go into the tattoo convention, here's some footage here. Um, you can either make an appointment with your artist, which some people like to do, or a lot of artists offer walk-ups. If you have kind of an idea of a tattoo you want, or you want to shop around, I always think it's a great time to meet that Instagram tattoo artist that you follow in real life, because a lot of people come all together from across the entire country. There were a ton of folks there. So like I said, those people you follow on Instagram, open up your phone and find them. I think that that's really fun too, but you don't have to be a tattooed person or even be interested in getting a tattoo to go to the convention and have a fun time. A lot of you ask, did John have a fun time? Did John get anything? My boyfriend went to the tattoo convention this year with me for the very first time and he didn't get anything, but even when we got home, I could tell that he had a lot of fun. I feel like Philadelphia all comes together. We ran into like four or five of John's friends and I think he had a ton of fun kind of like running around and well he got he had a couple beers but still I think it was totally fun and something unique especially if you're not like all about that convention life like John doesn't go to comic-con or anything so I think he had a really fun time one of the questions I got was did you see anyone famous and the tattoo convention in the last couple years when these tattoo reality TV shows have become more popular, the convention does host a lot of these more famous people. One of the artists told me Bam Margera was there because there is a little stage in the back, you know, if you're waiting for your tattoo artist, if you want to get your money's worth, there's always a stage where like people are performing. Um, they did like a lot of suspension, there was kind of like a sideshow, little burlesque kind of show, and then celebrities kind of come in. Um, I didn't spend a ton of time over at the stage. My appointment with Derek Hooper wasn't until 9 p.m. and we got there around 4. So we did have a ton of time to like walk around and really take everything in. So we did peep up this the little sideshow thing. But more importantly, we did see some people from uh, 
Ink Masters. And almost all of them exclusively were in the same row, which was cool for me to get a little giddy and be like, I know him from TV, I know him from TV. Oh, he was eliminated, I know him from TV. Some of my favorites were there, so it was really cool. I didn't say hi to any of them because um, I just like didn't want to. A lot of them were like in the middle of tattooing. Then again, like I don't really know famous tattoo artists. I guess just like people who have a lot of Instagram followers are famous. There was like one guy from Ink Masters who I remember was eliminated in the first episode and he was a total dick and he had a booth and he was like from Ink Masters and I want to be like, keep that quiet because you are a butthole. Somebody asked me like, did you get a tattoo? Is it improper etiquette to get two tattoos in the same day? And... I actually got two tattoos. I got tattooed by Ashley Love and I got tattooed by Derek Hooper. Um, Derek Hooper and I have a couple collaborative episodes um, of Tattoo Talk Tuesday in Public Record on my channel. I'll leave a link below with Ashley. So when I went to that like tattoo benefit a couple months ago, um, Ashley kind of hosted it. Ashley told me that she would be at the Philadelphia convention. She kind of like, well, she told me that in real life, but she didn't post a ton of stuff about it on her Instagram. So I kind of knew that, but the year before that she did post a ton of stuff on Instagram. Sometimes your favorite artists will. If not, if you are comfortable enough with your artists to email them and ask if they're going to be at the Philadelphia convention, it's totally fine. Um, I remember last year I asked Mark Cross if he was going to be at it and he said no. And I didn't feel awkward about it, he just said no. And Ashley was doing walk-ups out of a book. So Ashley had a book of stencils that were pre-cut out and you can kind of flip through the pages they were all marked with the price on them already and um when you picked one she took the stencil out and put it in the trash so no one else could take it last year when i got tattooed by her she did the same exact thing so i think that that's really cool because you know the artist is going to put out the amount of work that they expect to do you know they want to do the tattoos so you can't really hit them with do whatever you want because it's what they want and I think it's really great. Actually, um, she customized my tattoo a little bit too. I got a crying girl in a heart shape. And she ac I actually asked if she could have freckles. And Ashley threw them in there for me too. So there was a little bit of wiggle room with the design. And I think that was really awesome. We got to catch up. Uh, the tattoo is pretty close to my ass. So I'll just show a picture. I posted it on my Instagram too. And so did Ashley, so you can follow her if you would like. And after that, I got tattooed by Derek. Him and I talked about the design like a week beforehand, but it was super casual. We exchanged like four or five sentences about what I wanted, and he really nailed it. And you guys might know from me, I like to keep things kind of vague so I can get like the artist's true interpretation. Um, I'm sure that's annoying for some and better for others. I don't know, but I think Derek and I work really well together. Um, and I think we are people who are cut from the same cloth. So when he showed me the tattoo, it was absolutely perfect. Nothing I wanted to change. So the prices, people ask me, are tattoos at conventions cheaper and more expensive? And in my opinion, I feel like they're about the same price that you would pay no matter what. Um, maybe a little cheaper, maybe not though. I don't really notice anything more expensive or more cheap than normal but i'm sure different artists i've heard people say like oh you came all the way to the convention like i'll give you a good deal or they'll take the cost of the ticket out of your tattoo um i've heard of this before but have not personally experienced it so i don't really know i wouldn't expect to get a great deal because your artist does pay to be there they're not there for free they pay I don't know, like a thousand dollars to rent the booth and you know, they go through everything, the licensing process, the traveling, um, sending over documents, all of that stuff. So honestly, I don't really go there looking for a deal. I go there knowing that a tattoo artist who I normally can't see, Ashley's from Salt Lake City, Derek Cooper is from Tennessee. I know that they are there with me and I'm happy to pay them and tip them and just be around them. I don't think it's improper etiquette to get more than one tattoo. I mean, you paid to get in the convention, you might as well get that money's worth for your ticket. And honestly, I think every year I've ever gone, I've gotten at least two tattoos at a time. 
because for me like I know on my body where I want it to be covered not necessarily exactly what I want but what I want to be covered and right now I am working really hard on getting my leg finished so if I can get two tattoos in one day that will help me get closer to my goal I think that that's super chill and not an issue where do you get your flash um, how can I get flash? And my response was my number one place to get tattoo flash is at conventions. So I'm going to quickly show you like what flash I got at the convention. So I got this from Ashley Love this year. I actually damaged the corner, but here it is. Last year I got your number one for me fatty print from Ashley which is a little bit larger. So this year I just got something a little smaller, but it's super vivid. I really like it. Like, look how good we look together. And of course, I picked up some stuff from Derek Cooper. He has been killing it with the flash stuff lately. You can check him out on Instagram. I posted one on my Instagram, but um, he actually did the whole formation by Beyonce music video flash. I think that's really cool. Like, there's the lobster. There's that one outfit she has. Here's the him. I think that this is all really cool. Like here's that part, swag. So I was really excited to pick this up. I think that this is super clever, definitely in great timing. And I think it's really well done. I really love exactly how she looks. Like how perfect is that? I got some stuff from his Babe series. I really love her. She is so perfect, but someone already got her. I really love her too. I love the way he does cheeks. Here's her. her. Um, John and I were supposed to get frames for these on Sunday. Um, then the frames that we found, I didn't really like. They seem really forced. So I think we're going to Target today to pick up frames for these. And I think they would look really cool over here. Because I have been filming over here. Those are all the prints I got. Um, there were more that I actually wanted to pick up. But um, I don't know. John and I just had so much fun there. And I also got to meet my friend... Andrew, who I follow on Instagram right here, he is an apprentice, but definitely worth following. I wanted to pick up this flash from him. No, sorry. I'm selling this at the convention, but I actually didn't get to pick it up. I really wanted it, but we just got to talking, and it was super cool to meet him because I've been following him on Instagram forever, so that was super cool. I think that that's really cool about the convention, too. Like I said, all the people you meet from Instagram want all in one room. So somebody asked me, how is getting tattooed in a convention different from getting tattooed at a shop? And I would say that it is a pretty different experience. One that you kind of have to be like a little aggressive about, especially if you are getting tattooed by an artist who is only doing walk-ups, similar to Ashley Love. Last year, I knew Ashley was only taking walk-ups. So I got to the convention right as it opened so I could be first in line to pick from her book and like guarantee a spot with her. So I would say that that is very different from being tattooed in a shop because in a shop you can, you know, you can make an appointment so you know you can get there on time and there's a little more wiggle room and there's a little more discussion to like what kind of tattoo you're getting and etc. In a tattoo convention setting, Things are like, hey, I'm only doing walk-ups, I'm only doing four tattoos today, stuff like that. And since a lot of stencils are already pre-made, like the ones from Ashley's book, um, there's not a ton of room, like in a tattoo shop, they can make the stencils, come print them out on the computer, pull them out, different designs like that, paintings, things like this. But in a convention, the artists are very limited to what they can bring inside of the space. Derek said that they went through all of his supplies to screen, to see everything that he brought. He couldn't bring in food, things like that. So it is very different from a shop, especially for the artists. So the artists try to, to make it as easy for themselves as possible to give you what you want. So like I said, Ashley sketches, Ashley's stencils were already made and she only brought a certain amount of stencils. So... You had to be one of just a couple who would get tattooed by her. A lot of people are walking around who may not even be interested in tattoos, may not have tattoos, but they're there to spectate. 
and that is very different from your tattoo shop. Like, I have been tattooed in places where there's a privacy curtain, there's different things like that, um, like a partition wall, and at the convention, it's kind of like all there. Um, like I said, I got that tattoo like pretty close to my ass, so Ashley had me kind of positioned where my ass would face the wall of the booth, so people walking by would kind of just see my face, like I posted on my Instagram, and then she was behind. So that was really nice of her to kind of cover my ass. <laughs> we were tattooing in her shop. It would be a lot more intimate and I feel like I would feel a lot more covered and not so revealed. And I definitely, the girl next to us was getting her sternum done and she had a button up shirt and she taped the parts of the shirt to each one of her breasts so she wouldn't be exposed and the tattoo artist could tattoo right here. I think that there is a lot more like trying to make do with what you have at the convention, which can be super fun, but if you are the type of person who feels nervous about being tattooed and wants everything to kind of go perfectly and you have sort of this idea of how it's going to go, I would say get tattooed in a shop first because the tattoo convention setting, like I said, is a little more makeshift, a little more like, uh, whatever you have has to work kind of situation. Someone asked me, what do you bring to the convention when you get tattooed? And this is gonna be my final question that I answer. So when I go to the convention, I try to bring like breakaway outfits, if that makes sense. All layers, tons of layers. So I will wear leggings with socks over top, um, which kind of looks a little weird, but I, I do it really often. So I think it's like a signature look of mine at this point. So socks over the leggings and the leggings are kind of like loose so I can pull them up over my leg if I have to. One year I wore knee high socks over my leggings and that was really smart. I should have done that this year so maybe like part of my leg would have been covered but this year just up to the sock when I was with Ashley. So I wear a long skirt over top of the leggings so if I have to get my upper legs tattooed, the skirt kind of works as a drape to drape over the ass. Just because you are changing in front of whoever walks by. So I like to treat my skirt as a curtain for my underwear. I will wear um, a t-shirt and a long sleeve that goes over top of the t-shirt. Uh, the convention gets very, very hot. They offer a coat check, which is super fun because some people get completely naked because they can check all their clothing. But for me, more clothes the better. Um, like I said, a lot of people come there to spectate and I kind of like to stay covered, almost like I'm in a disguise, like a non-tattoo disguise, so no one can come up to me and ask me questions. I wasn't in the mood to show off my tattoos. Um, so a long sleeve that kind of goes over there, but a lot of layers in case you want to drape your jacket over your arm because it gets super hot in there. Um, when you go to the tattoo convention, I don't know if this is just Philadelphia, but they search your bags, they search your pockets, and they uh, wand you with a metal detector. So there's a ton of stuff I don't bring just because this process can be very long. Um, and you can't bring food, and you can't bring a water bottle, and you have to bring your ID, um, no weapons, and they say no gang colors, but I don't know what that means. Um, I think they need to chill with that because they might be offending some tattoo people by associating them with gangs. I don't know the history of the convention though, maybe they needed to establish this rule. I, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for everybody who submitted questions to this convention talk. I'm sorry this video ran kind of long, but I had so much fun at the convention. Let me know if you saw me. Um, I had one subscriber come up to me. That was super fun. Uh, we had some hugs and some laughs. I showed her John. Um, yeah, I don't, did you, if you saw me, please let me know in the comments below. Or if you saw anyone famous there, uh, I thought I saw Morgan Joyce. You guys are always telling me, asking me if I know her. I think I saw her. I don't know. But, um, yeah. 
You can check out my Instagram. I posted some fun stuff from the convention. I had Valentine's Day breakfast with Derek and his wife. So that picture is on my Instagram. Tune in next week so we can bust this vegan tattoo situation wide open because you guys are asking me every day. So here it comes. I love you guys. Stay tuned for this makeup look tomorrow. And until next time, I freaking love you guys. Last week's episode was all about white tattoo ink. This is Tattoo Talk Tuesday. You guys keep this show alive and I love it. Until next time. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Quicken and welcome back to Five Fact Friday. Let me just kind of get snuggled in here. Um, 